Hey guys, I'm currently standing outside of a 2020 Honda Civic Sport. This is going to be one step above the LX trim level. So let's kind of walk around it. You're going to have all of your Honda sensing features come standard, like your adaptive cruise control, forward collision magnetic braking, and your lane keep assist. As we kind of take a sneak peek here in the front, you're going to have your daytime running lights and fog lights, where it kind of starts from that point. You're going to have a 2.0 four cylinder with the CVT transmission. Um, we kind of walk around over here. You have your 18 inch alloy rims with low profile tires. Now you're also going to get your smart entry with the vehicle. So if the car is locked, you simply hit the lock button. Walk up to it, put your hand on the handle, it unlocks. Now you can lock it by simply pushing it right in. Now the vehicle is locked from that point. As we get to the back, you're going to have some of your sport badging with LED tail lights. You're going to have a center exhaust. Multi-angle backup camera. You're gonna have a uh, spoiler on the back, a deck spoiler. As you kind of take a look down here below, you're gonna have some insulation in the trunk to make it more of a quieter ride for your passengers in the back seat. It's gonna be a 60-40 split, so you can bring down either side of your uh, seats here if you need to. Spare tire, additional uh, tools for the unforeseen events. Then another cool thing is you got done, I don't know, you throw your purse in the trunk, uh, gym bag, whatever, drop the key in there. You can not like the key in the car. It won't let you. At least in the trunk, okay? Let's shut that right over there. Now you have a capless tank. So with the capless tank, and on the outside, you simply push the door open. Pops right open for you guys. Slide in your gas. Good to go. Now if you have a uh, collapsible nozzle for your emergency gas can, you have the emergency funnel in the back, please use that so it won't get stuck. Now when the car is locked, this locks. All right, so now we can get in there. You guys can take a look here in the back. You have some additional cargo space, cubby space here in the door. Nice kind of leather on the sides, cloth in the center. Got your carpet mats, come standard. Here's the Maroni sticker. You guys are welcome to pause the video here. Talks a little bit about the fuel economy. You're gonna have 29 for the city, 37 for the highway. Safety ratings, list of features and price point right there. All right, you're also gonna have remote start. To use remote start, you simply hit lock twice. Hold this button down for a few seconds. It says hold. Light's gonna flash. There it is. It's going to run for 10 minutes. Heats and cools to 72 degrees. This remote start has uh, 180 feet, 60 yards, a range there for you. Now, take and give, you know, some buildings. If you're in a building down in the basement, keep that in mind, okay? Let's walk right in. All right, now you're going to have all your adjustments over here. You're going to have your mirror adjustments. Slide it over to the right. If you want to select the right, you can change from there. You got your power locks, your windows. You can lock your window just in case you got young whippersnappers or adults that are misbehaving in the back. The truck buttons down below. Some additional cubby space. You're going to have manual seats. So it's going to be a pump action. To raise it, you have to pump up. To lower it, you got to pump down. You got your tilt and you got a bar here to slide forward and back. Okay? And jump right in. Now with the remote start, since so we have that going on, to fully turn on the vehicle, you have to put your foot on the brake. Then push this push button in, because it is a push button start. Now the vehicle is fully on. Now over here on the side, you're gonna have your forward collision magnetic braking, vehicle stability assist. If you guys ever wanna shut that off, it's a click and hold until it kinda pops right up. Then you have your road departure. You have your hood release. Wheel adjustment, simply pull this out from down under. It's gonna be a telescope. It comes up and down, in and out. Lock that back in place. Over here on the side, we're gonna have your auto headlights. They're gonna have an auto beam too as well. Wipers, shifter pedals. So you can change your automatic to a manual or depending on what kind of driving you're doing. You can have a nice look, kind of aggressive look up here. Everything's gonna be red. You got your uh, Honda Sensing is available. You can tell by the green writing up on the top. The ACCs, your adaptive cruise control, and the lane keep assist. 
So when I hit this main button, if I don't want it, it turns it off, it's no longer available. Maybe if I like it, now it's available. You have all of your Honda sensing on this side. You have your lane keep assist between 45 and 90 miles an hour. It keeps you in the center of your lane. You can customize that. So it will beep at you when you go over the line or you can have it off or it won't beep at you. Either way, it brings you back and recenters you on your highway driving. You have your cruise control then right here. Then you have your cruise control speed. You have your adaptive cruise control. As you see, how many times I hit that button, it changes the lines right up there, changing the distance between you and the car in front of you. Hand tree for your phone. You got your menu button. And it changes everything up here. So that first one just talks about your current, you know, the current tank for the range. How many miles you can go to you kind of guesstimate when you're going to run out. Graph down below kind of gives you an idea what your current live feed of your fuel economy is going to be. Maintenance, music, phone. List kind of goes on from that point for you. And it's going to be a volume control. You can change between your music, stations, and all that right there. It's a push button start. Go to the home menu. So you get a seven inch display screen. You're gonna have quite a bit of different radio options. You now with the sport package, you are gonna be gaining the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto too. The LX did not have that offer, while this one does. Now go to source, you have FM, AM, your Bluetooth, you got your Apple CarPlay, smartphone, uh, Pandora. The list kind of goes on from that point. You can have a USB, uh, you don't have a CD player, so you have to download your CDs and onto a flash drive, you can do a plug and go. I mentioned about your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's gonna be a USB port right down here. We've got an extension plug into it at the moment. If you can see that. As a plug and go. Um, you have, if you have an Android phone, you have to download Android Auto. You have a 12 volt here on the other side. Nice little cargo space. Maybe you place to set phone down. You can set your phone right down over here. Check out the backup camera. You can have a three mode backup camera, guys. So the first view is selected. It's kind of a wide view. And you have a straight, uh, straight behind you view. Then a straight down from your rear bumper. All right. And then also as you turn the wheel, it guides you as well. Either way. Now you can pair up to six different phones on this through Bluetooth. You can have your climate control, everything. You got your temperature. You can see what it is up on the top left hand corner of the display screen. Fan speed displays right up there. Now you're gonna have your climate button so you can switch different modes. It's gonna be a touch screen so you can touch it. Off button right there. Now down below, you're gonna have your different gears. I'm oh, sorry, different drives. You're gonna have your regular drive, then you have a sport drive. You have a hold brake, so if you ever stop at a train, you can uh, hit that button while your foot's on the brake and it'll hold that brake for you so you can take your foot off the brake. Electrical parking brake, you have an econ mode. So with econ, when that's on, you have a green leaf that's up there to indicate to let you know. It changes the RPMs of your car. Um, changes the acceleration power and eight nerfs the AC power to give you better fuel economy. All right, so depending on your driving habits, you can see from two to four more miles to a gallon. Now, see those white lights there on the top sides? Uh, they change colors as you're driving too. So between the green and white, green is being your being uh, fuel efficient, and then white is when you're not. So we're not driving anywhere, so we're not being as fuel efficient right now. Um, so this is a nice little coach, okay? Nice little coach. Also with the econ button, just to let you guys know, you can keep it on for your city driving, it just won't be as effective because of the constant stop and go, it's gonna be the most effective on the highway, all right? You're gonna have an additional USB port down here. A little hard to see down, there it is, popping right up. Slides, cup holders, you got room for a big one. A little additional cubby space. Armrest, adjust, two different modes.
You got a glove box, nice deep. Front seat's looking pretty good. You got leather on the sides, nice little cloth pattern. Black interior on this particular one. Nice little silver trim. Kind of goes all the way around. Gives it that nice little sport fill. Nice little sport fill. All right, guys. So yeah, this is the Honda Civic. Let's take one last look around it on the outside. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to drop a comment down below or contact me, Crazy Chris, here at Randy Kill Honda. I'd love to answer any questions you guys may have about the Civics or any Honda in general. Nice little aggressive look on it. All right, guys, that's the Honda Civic Sport. Thanks for watching.